Hello and welcome everyone. In today's lesson, we're going to look at conditional sentences, also called if sentences. Conditional sentences consist of two parts, a condition and a result. Okay. Condition clauses use con subordinating conjunctions. If. The if clause introduces a condition. The main clause is the result of that condition. The main clause only happens when the events in the if clause happen. Note, there are two ways of ordering a conditional sentence. We can use the if clause, comma, plus the main clause, or we could use the main clause plus the if clause without a comma between the two. There are four main types of conditionals. These are conditionals 0, 1, 2 and 3. OK, let's start with zero conditional. Looking at the concept of the zero conditional, it is to express a fact, something that is always true. Let's look at some examples. If you heat ice, it melts. If demand for a product rises, its price rises too. In conditional zero, you use the present simple in the if clause and the present simple again in the consequence clause. In this sense, it's not a real conditional. So for conditional zero, it is also possible to use when instead of if. For example, you can say when demand for a product rises, its price rises too. Right then, let's look at conditional one or first conditional. The concept of the first conditional is a future situation of high probability. Note that the probability is about the probability of the action in the if clause, not the other clause. Let's look at some examples. I see her quite often, so there is a high probability that I will see her tomorrow. If I see her tomorrow, I will speak to her. Another example. They are always late, so there is a high probability that they will be late again. I will not let them in if they are late again. In conditional 1, we use the present simple in the if clause and the future simple in the consequence clause. OK, moving on to second conditional. Now, the concept of the second conditional is to do with either a present or future situation of low probability or unreal or imaginary situations in the present or in the future. There is a hypothesis, zero possibility. Once again, note that the probability is about the probability of the action in the if clause, not the consequence clause. OK, let's look at some examples of the first case, a present or future situation of low probability. For example, I don't often see her, so it's not very probable that I will see her tomorrow, but if I saw her tomorrow, I would speak to her. I don't have any time this week, but I can imagine what I would do if I had time. If I had some time, I would tidy up my office. Or a completely unreal or hypothetical situation. I'm not a lawyer. If I were a lawyer, I wouldn't take on this case. 
Note that the correct form of the verb to be to use in conditional to is were for all pronouns. In conditional to, we use the past simple in the if clause and would do in the consequence clause. Okay, moving on to conditional three or third conditional. And the third conditional is used to talk about unreal situations in the past. There is a hypothesis, zero possibility. Examples. I didn't see her yesterday. If I had seen her, I would have spoken to her. They weren't late last night. I wouldn't have let them in if they had been late. In conditional three, we use the past perfect in the if clause and the consequence clause is formulated with would have done. All right, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you didn't, that's okay, because these can be a little tricky in the beginning, but as you practice these sentences, they'll become second nature, and you'll be using conditionals like a pro. And I'll see you in another lesson soon.